Hi, my name is Kaylin Helmick, and I am an applications engineer from Go Engineer. And in this quick tip video, I will be sharing how to create custom materials in SolidWorks. The first step is to go over to the feature tree and find this material option. Next, right click on material and then click edit material. Here we have a lot of different materials to choose from already, but if our material is not on this list, we can also create our own. Before we create our own material, it's good practice to first use the search bar to search for your material to see if it already exists. If it does not already exist, we have the green light to go ahead and create our own. First, let's find the custom material folder. You might have to scroll down to find it if you have a lot of folders expanded. I'm going to go ahead and open my custom materials folder. And we can see that there's already a plastic folder in my custom materials folder. To create another category, we can right click on custom materials and then click new category. I'm going to name this one metals. Now that we have a metals folder, it's time to create our material. There's two different ways of doing this. The first method is by right clicking on metals and then clicking new material. Here we can name our material. I'm going to name my metal one, as well as change the values so that they match the values that we need for our new material. Once we have updated these values to match our material, we can click save. And now we see metal one is an option under our custom materials folder. Another way to create a material is to find one that is similar to the material that you are trying to create. For example, I'm going to click 6061 alloy, and I'm going to go ahead and copy 6061 alloy. And then I'm going to right click on metals and then click paste. And now you can see that we have a copy of 6061 alloy in our metals folder. To modify our 6061 alloy, we simply click on it, and then we can change the name as well as update the values so that they match our new material. Once we are done with this, we can click save. And now we have two different custom materials ready to use. To use our custom material, we go ahead and click on the material and then click apply and then close. And now you can see that metal one is being used for our part. This has been Kaylin Helmick from Go Engineer. I hope you found this video helpful and that you have a great rest of your day.